It's come up a lot on my feed recently when it talks about health goals, when you're talking about fitness goals, your body is your business and all this, because it's a new year. I'm not sure when it stops being a new year, but happy new year. And here are four things that I speak to with every single client, every single person who asks me with advice to say, Ollie, how do I crush my health goals this year? How do I get my body on track? How do I improve my fitness? And the first thing is two. The first thing is to cover all bases. Most people say, I'm going to start going to the gym and that's cool. That's one simple thing to do. If you go into the gym, do some work. I don't just chat or scroll through Facebook, but go to the gym and get a bit of a session going. Don't hit beast mode, don't go too hard. Go there, enjoy yourself, and have some fun. If you don't have access to a gym, get some bodyweight workouts. But cover all bases. That means, let's have a look at your sleep. Can we be getting your sleep to be a little bit better? Can we be getting you more hydrated? Your training's covered off. Can we be lowering your stress level somewhere? Cover all bases rather than focusing on just one aspect of your health in order to get the results, in order to get the impact you want and you deserve as a hard working individual. Number two is to consistently be active. Do the smallest amount, the smallest amount that you can every single day. If that means getting up to go for a walk for 20 minutes twice a day, you do those walks twice a day. If that's going to the gym, you go to the gym. You enjoy yourself at the gym. You do the work in the gym. You be consistently active and don't just do all your movement at once. You will find you have more focus, more energy, more productivity if you do some things in the morning, you do something after lunch, in the afternoon, to get that little boost of focus, little boost of productivity after your session. The third one is, don't go to the extremes. Don't go on a 1,000 calorie, 1,500 calorie deficit. Don't set out to do seven days of training a week, three hours, four hours a day. Do the smallest amount, as I've just mentioned. The smallest amount you can do and build up. You're not going to need to train seven days a week, but you could move seven days a week. You're not going to need to be in a 1,500 calorie, 1,000 calorie deficit. It is just going to set you up for failure. Unsustainable workings, unsustainable methods, unsustainable ways to actually get in shape. We want the long term results here. So you don't yo-yo up and down. So you don't feel good, feel bad, feel good, feel bad. We just want you to feel good. Then, then uh, be patient. I hate to say this to you. I posted a picture about losing what was it, 15 kilos in five weeks yesterday, it can be done. But that is not long-term sustainable. It is so hard to do that. It requires such a dedicated period of focus in order to do that. Don't think it will happen overnight. Let's have small wins along the way. Win every single day. And look at the long-term goal. Set your goals for 12 weeks, set your goals for 24 weeks, set your goals for 36 and 48 weeks. Set your goals for the year, 52 weeks, and break them down. But patience, patience is key. I'd love to be that person that says, look, I've got a magic pill, and you can have this all happen overnight, you can lose 10 pounds in two days. In fact, no, fuck it, I have got the magic pill. It's called accountability, and that's why I'm known for being as good as I am with working with entrepreneurs, business guys all around the world with improving their health, with improving their capability, improving their accountability. That is the key. That is the magic pill, that A word, accountability. Now, if you need it, because losing weight isn't rocket science, getting in shape isn't rocket science, accountability is. If you need that, Come and speak to me. Come and speak to me. I will keep you accountable. We can have a chat. We can go from there and see if it's a fit. It may not be. I'm not going to be the coach for everyone. You're not going to be the client for every single coach out there. If it's not a fit, that's cool. But if it is, imagine how you're going to feel in two, three, four weeks. Let alone in three months. Let alone in six months. Let alone this time next year when you're starting your new year's resolutions again and they don't include getting healthier 
that you tried last year and failed. I look forward to speaking to you.